What's up guys? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Now, I originally wasn't going to shoot this video, but I thought I got the two-speed going and I just wanted to show everyone because a lot of people were saying I couldn't get the shift into second because this uh, four-stroke single-cylinder Obed cam motor doesn't have enough RPM. But it actually does. revs out to, I think, about 13,500 RPM. But I pulled the gearbox apart and I uh, just checked out everything and put it back together and then voila, it works, so happy days. And also a quick hello to all the new subscribers that have subscribed because they've seen this video in their suggestion box or wherever you else you've seen it um, and are interested in it because our channel, we don't just do these kind of weird Frankenstein builds but we also bash, uh, crash, race and do all types of RCs. Um, I'll quickly just show you like with the ever popular X-Max, got a few X-Maxes laying around over here. Got a lot of one fifth scale stuff as a Traxxas TRX4. Um, conversions like uh, got the Robe in here, uh, was originally gas, converting it to uh, uh, brushless. And all these other cars here, and heaps of other cars. We've got Carbo and Lucre, um, they all got one fifth scale and uh, all that kind of cool stuff as well. So we do all types of stuff here. Cheap, expensive, and. Uh, we just want to have fun. We don't take the hobby too seriously. At the end of the day, they are just toys. Well, some are a little bit more expensive than others. But uh, anyway, I'll start uh, stop blabbering on. Let's have a look and uh, see how we went. Now, I wasn't going to do this video, but I managed to pull apart the transmission just to check that everything was intact and there was no issues with it. And everything looked okay. So basically, I took out the internal clutch, the one that shifts it from, um, well, first to second and just you know, pulled the little grub screw out, there's a little spring in there with a ball, like a check ball in there, pulled that back in and, uh, you know, just put it all back together and so far it seems to work. Now, yeah, I wasn't going to do this, but I've thought so much interest in this project that I wanted to show you it uh, shifting gears and hopefully I'll put a little camera there, see if I can actually get some onboard footage. But um, before I put it on the ground, I've done some more work, done some uh, cable management there, put this little bracket there so the batteries can sit up here and won't move forward and this roughly around about here is where I can put the body on without uh, you know well not actually uh, intruding inside the cab and make the body sit actually flat but uh, got rid of some of the white cable ties put black ones in and uh, that's about it apart from that I'll do some more cable management make a little bit more stock I'm pretty happy with how it turned out like I said in the in the previous video I wanted to make it look like semi you could semi purchase this and this is what it would look like um, but uh, yeah, a lot of interest in this some people tell me to put the fuel tank back here but I want it as close to the motor as possible still got to do the uh, air filter some people say do a snorkel <laughs> maybe later on exhaust yes I will do an exhaust um, currently, this is stock form. It comes out the side. Um, here's another motor here. It comes out the side just like that. Now, don't worry, there'll be more videos coming very soon. But let's see if I can do this all one handed. I've filled it up a little bit because I'm running actually low on petrol. Now, if uh, you haven't seen the previous video, this is how I started. Just push this button here. Get some fuel running fuel. Sweet, eh? Now, just, I just used a tank of gas before, but let's uh, see how it goes. You normally can hear it with the higher revving nitro engines. You definitely can hear it uh, a bit more distinctly, but you can hear it on this when you actually use it. Ready? You hear it, the Zen? So you just kick in the gear there. <laughs> now it's a crawler, so it's going to be geared that way, so don't expect some high speed. There it goes. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool though, you can still hear it. Yeah, it kicked in a little bit earlier there, and you can always fine tune it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's top speed. There we go. So once the engine was a little bit warmed up, it kind of tuned a little bit better.
Now, people are saying um, that that fan actually does work at the front, like it, it is functional, it keeps it cool. So it's not just there for, uh, for fun, it actually does keep the engine cool. Obviously, that head gets pretty hot, just very able to touch it. But, uh, It's not front wheel drive, well, it's not four wheel drive at the moment, so. <laughs> Let's see if I can engage reverse. I uh, engage reverse by switching this little switch. Oh, rear wheel burn out. Uh, it's in there pretty good. Now let's uh, put it back to uh, forward. Rock it back and forward, come on. There we go, you good thing. Now you can see it actually lights up the tyres. <laughs> actually turned, it turned, uh, turned into second then as well. Ooh. Back and forth, no, I'll pick it up this time. So it's got a nice, nice uh, low idle now. It uh, definitely does sound better as well in person. People were complaining about the sounds like a tractor. Yeah, it does a little bit, but uh, it's, a, it's a single cylinder. So yeah, it's performing really well now, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Come on, get up. These tyres are super soft as well from the factory. They're like, yeah, they're really, really soft. So it's not doing any, any favours. Well, let's see how much of this tank we can run through. <laughs> Quite of a nice, uh, nice transition. Definitely see it here at kick up. I'm happy that I got that working out. I was a little bit worried because uh, a lot of people were saying you need higher RPMs, and I know that's the case. With uh, obviously the normal two strokes are rev a little bit higher, or the normal like TRX motor that goes in this, I think it is. But this still revs to 13,000, so I'm happy that it is uh, changing. What I'll do, let me put the body on and uh, get some more runs before the uh, light gets out. Well, it's nearly 6 o'clock in Australia, daylight saving time, and before that fuel runs out. Okay, quickly got the body on and just went outside on, on the dirt. Uh, let's see how it goes. go to speed uh, drift there <laughs> oh, this is so cool oh, having fun guys look I'm not taking anything too seriously this is just for fun and prove that you can do stuff if you really want to This is the Land Rover can't drift, huh? Whoa! I'm driving one-handed too, so I'm bear in mind, sorry about the crap driving. Whoa! Yeah. This is sweet. That's awesome. 
I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it all. Oh, this is cool. The second just kicked in. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Kicked in the second much earlier then. Who says a crawler can't be pretty fun? <laughs> Awesome. Now let's pull the fuel runs out before the light runs out. Let's uh let's take it down here. Now bear in mind it's got no brake. So I'm just gonna be rolling it. No no brakes. But let's try the reverse. Ah, oh, it died. Let's put it in reverse. Let's go back the other way. And uh, it's getting. Our problem is it's got no four-wheel drive, so it's all. It's not going to be the best crawler. But who cares? It's always going to get stuck up and hung up. Let's uh, let's give it a bit of a, a bit of a hand. Yeah, it's really stuck up on that rock. Okay. Looks cool though. Yeah, no. bit too much. Definitely needs four wheel drive. We can do it. I'm just, I'm having more fun doing these. Uh, <laughs> I love how it kicks when it gets in the second. Oh, those doors are open. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's just kicked in a bit late, that one. Hey, it's a good test for it, eh? To be honest. I definitely want to test it more on like rocks and stuff. But uh, it's a bit hard when it's got no front front wheels to help push it along. And no brake. Sick. That looks awesome. Oh, all of the doors popped up. <laughs> Let me put this camera down. I'll fix these doors up. All right, I just started it back up again, but I really enjoy this part of the hobby. Just trying out something. If you got a, if you got an idea, just try it out and have fun. <laughs> I 
love how it kicks in the second. been happening here yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun guys Well, I did position the camera around to do a couple more runs, but I think she's out of gas. Yep, definitely out of gas. I'll try to... Let me just start moving around a little bit. Sloshes around the tank and she will... She will give up. That's... Uh, wow, I'm pretty happy with it. Can I get the car to come in there? No, I can't. Let's get it from over here. Now the engine temps have been giving it a fair bit. That is pretty hot, but nothing uh, different than when I was running without the body. And I was doing a few, you know, good ups and down passes there. Oh, wow, I'm pretty happy with it. Eh? What do you guys think? I'm trying to uh, answer all the comments I can in the in the uh, comment section down below. And if I, if I miss your comment, I'm sorry guys, but I'm happy with all, I'm happy for all you new guys coming and all my current subscribers. I hope you enjoy this uh, build series and it inspires you to just to try it out and do something else. Look, um, I like not to take the hobby too seriously. They are just toys, but if you can have fun and not just, you know, race or bash and just try something different, if you have an idea, put it down to paper and try it out. And in this circumstance we have so far. So, if you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. And like I said at the beginning, I wasn't actually going to film this, but I got the two-speed working and I thought you guys would want to see it because there's so much interest in this uh, model. Links from the description. This is a double E, 1.8 scale, toy and single-cylinder overhead cam, four-stroke motor, and a fabble cockled, all this kind of stuff into what you see here. Next video, I'll hopefully... I've got the brake, uh, the, the yoke I need for the brake, that's all sorted. And I also need to um, try to figure out the uh, front drive shaft. Hopefully I can maybe twist the, tr the uh, front diff to lessen the angle, uh, but we'll see how that goes. So anyway, Steve here again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for everyone uh, watching, and I'm glad you like it, and I'll see you in the next video.